Hi everyone, I'm Wardy from Gnaufglins and today I want to show you the ultimate cheese press from homesteadersupply.com. I've been testing this press out quite a bit lately. I've been using it to make cheddar cheese, which is our favorite cheese. You'll find a recipe for that on my blog, but also demonstrated from start to finish on video in my online class, Cultured Dairy and Basic Cheese. I've got all these beautiful cheddar cheese curds. Just finished cheddaring. Here is the press. You need to take it apart in order to use it. Now, it comes with a pressing plate that goes with this larger size mold. And if you're doing a smaller batch of cheese, you can use the smaller mold with the smaller pressing plate. We are going to use the large one because I have a big batch of cheese here. Now the whole press needs to sit inside some kind of drip tray. The instructions that come with the cheese press give you a different way uh, to line with cheesecloth and I'm sure it works fine, but I just go with the way I've always done it, which is to take, a, take my cheesecloth and line the mold, um, get it flat at the bottom, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you basically want to make, you know, a big cavity that's about the dimensions of the mold for the curds to go. And fill up the mold. Push those curds in uh, to fill up all the spaces. You want to be pretty frugal about your use of space, especially if you have a large batch of cheese like I do. This is from four gallons of milk. and. Uh, I'm not exactly sure that it all will fit. Okay, so this is mostly full. I'm not gonna go any farther. It's about an inch, inch and a half from the top. We need to leave some room at the top for the press parts. Fold the cheesecloth over the top. This completely encases the cheese and then it's time to put the pressing plate on the top with the grooves up. Okay. And then we finish assembling this press here. Now this screw thing, because my press is so full, I'm gonna have to bring it up quite a bit. But if you don't have the press so full of your cheese curds, um, more of this can be sticking down. This bolt here fits in this hole. And these grooves actually are gonna fit on the sides of this mold. If you were using the smaller mold, you'd be fitting them into these grooves inside. So put that on through there. And um, here's where the cheesecloth can kind of get in your way. So I'm just bringing it in here so that I can line this up so that the top of the press fits right on the side of there. Okay, and the plate may have to go down a little bit farther to make room for that. Okay, so here it is all on now. So I'm going to add these screws on the side. This will secure it all in place and help um, keep the pressure on. Okay, now, you see lots of whey is already dripping out. That's just from working with the curds and putting the plate on. These ends of cheesecloth you don't want hanging down because really they'll just make a mess. So once you're done, you can tuck them all up in here. Now, these went on until they were tight because all they're doing is tightening this to the top of the mold. Here is where we're going to play with the pressure to press this cheese. And it's pretty loose right now. It's not really pressing at all. I'm just gonna tighten it until I can tell that it's starting to press. And you don't do it tight, you just do it till you can tell that it's starting to press. And then in the first half hour of this cheese, it's going to uh, lose pressure frequently. So every few minutes you just come and if it's loose, you just crank it down. It's been probably close to an hour um, of just every few minutes ratcheting this down a little bit more. So anytime between half hour and an hour is when you want to flip this cheese over. Okay, so this needs to come out, basically, and be flipped over. We just put these ends down in the mold so they don't get in the way. Undo the cheese 
and flip it over. And then wrap it back up. Kind of straighten that cheesecloth back out and put it back in the mold. Okay, that goes back on top. For the next 12 to 24 hours, you just keep doing the same thing. You ratchet down the pressure till you feel it pressing and it will release and you ratchet some more and you do that for about 12 to 24 hours or overnight. If you need to go to bed, that's fine. Just tighten it, go to bed and pick up where you left off in the morning. And then you will have a gorgeous block of cheese that was so easy to use in uh, this ultimate cheese press from homesteadersupply.com. So didn't that look easy? It really is easy, and that's one of the reasons that I love this press so much. I find it very, very easy to use, to flip the cheese over, to get the curds in, to adjust it, to apply the pressure. There's no worrying about numbers. You just go with how it feels, and it's really hard to go wrong. In fact, I almost think you can't go wrong. So it being easy is one of the reasons I like it, but I have a couple others. Another reason I love this press is because um, it keeps a really low space profile. The press itself fits right in where you're catching the whey dripping out, whether it's a pot or a baking dish or a baking pan, so it doesn't take very much space on the counter. And finally, I like the mold itself and I find that the cheese um, presses and slides easily in and out, find it very easy to use, and I get very even pressing of the cheese and a really nice texture of the cheese when I'm done because it just works so well. So if you have any questions about this, I know Jerry from Homesteader Supply would be happy to help you. Just send her an email and tell her you have questions about the Ultimate Cheese Press or go check it out on her website. I'll put the URL right there so you can just click that and visit the Ultimate Cheese Press and check it out yourself. And don't forget, you can learn a lot more about cheese making and cultured dairy in my online class, the Cultured Dairy and Basic Cheese eCourse. It's one of, one of uh, many unlimited online classes that I offer and in that class you learn to make your own culture dairy at home which can not only save you money but the results are so 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 delicious a wide range of culture dairy from yogurt to sour cream to cream cheese as well as basic cheeses that are so delicious and very easy to make so I hope to see you there